Hi guys, it's J Dog John Carstrom. Hey, I want to give you a heads up on what to do next in the garden. Now, if you have fuchsias, here is a helpful hint. That's what we're, that's what I'm here for is to give you some helpful hints. Hey, uh, so take a look now. Let's say you got one of these great fuchsias, and now if you have fuchsias at all, uh, they're a wonderful shade plants, right? They're, they bloom like crazy. I dare you to stop them from blooming, but there's actually one thing that, that you can do uh, to stop them from blooming, and then that is not deadheading them. And what I want, I'm doing right now, we've got a big table of these fuchsias, and by the way, they're hybridizing fuchsias quite a bit. It's really kind of an exciting time in the fuchsia world. Um, I, I like to say they're trying to take the hardiness of a, of a, of a hardy fuchsia, of a Magellanica, and, and breeding it with that blooming power of an annual fuchsia. And, and we get to enjoy the best of both worlds, or the worst of them. Um, so anyway, um, uh, some tips on what to do next on your fuchsia. Now if you take a look, sometimes they bloom so heavily. I mean, there are, I mean, I want to say a hundred blooms on this guy right now. But what happens later on, let me see, let me get you a better one. So I get one like this, and they're just blooming like crazy. But if you really look close, uh, let's take a look. I don't know, Brandon, if you can if you can get to that. What we what we have is there's a bloom here, right? And then just right behind the bloom is that seed pod right there. So the bloom falls off, and then we're left with these seed pods. And what happens later on is the plant just puts the energy into these seed pods and does it bloom again. So what we have to do is really clip all of these pods off. Sometimes on these guys, it's a little bit hard to, uh, to deadhead these without taking off bloom. So what I am going to do is I'm going to just kind of show you a little bit how I go about deadheading them. So I'm just finding branches that have uh, that have some of the pods on there. Now it also has some of the bloom on there, but I'm going to go ahead and take off the entire branch. And the reason being is, well, if I want to be really detailed, I can go through and get every single seed pod there is. But these guys bloom so readily that you don't have to worry. Uh, you don't have to worry about you know cutting off all their blooms. So, give me a quick second here, and you notice I'm also kind of condensing this down a bit. So, so your overall plant might end up just looking something like this. You see that? So it's a little bit tighter, a little bit growing. You might be left with just some stubs. Those will start blooming right away. This keeps your fuchsia blooming constantly. So make sure you pluck off those seed heads. Enjoy them. By, by the way, it's a great thing to do while you're having a cup of coffee or shooting a video. So guys, oh, 18 rules of uh, Dalai Lama's 18 rules of living. Rule number two, when you lose, don't lose the lesson. Thank you very much, the Dalai Lama. Guys, that's the show for the day. Always live your passion. See me